Joining us now is Signet CEO Jenna Drosis. Uh, Jenna, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so really strong numbers, uh, as we just mentioned right there. And I realize you did raise your guidance, but overall, as you look out into the coming months, um, how sustainable is that strength, is that growth that you've been seeing? How much of this is pent-up demand from consumers that have amassed a war chest of savings and, and stimulus money versus uh, just, I guess, reflection of, of uh, the company and the fact that you're targeting consumers overall? Well, I'm really proud of our Signet team. They delivered an excellent first quarter. We continued the momentum that we had at Holiday through a strong Valentine's Day and a Mother's Day. As you say, we did exceed our Q1 numbers and raised our guidance for the year. Uh, we also reflected guidance for a strong Q2. We're really investing to try to get more than our fair share of the market demand right now. The jewelry category is up, some tailwinds definitely from stimulus and tax refunds, but at Signet, our transformation plan is working. We're seeing great results behind our connected commerce strategy, our banner differentiation, our acceleration into service, and we're really uh, leading digital commerce in the jewelry category. Yeah, e-commerce growth up uh, more than 110% year over year as well. I know that's something you doubled down on in the pandemic. How much of that uh, continues to stay versus people going into malls, going into stores, and, and, and increases in brick-and-mortar foot traffic? Well, I think the pandemic has changed customer shopping behavior forever. Um, we're seeing a lot more customers come to us online, even if not to purchase, to look at selection, to become educated. We added during the pandemic more than 700 virtual jewelry consultants. We now have Google Chat, Apple Chat. Those are new capabilities within the quarter. We're improving our websites rapidly. More than 100 new features added during the first quarter. So we think we have a unique opportunity and a competitive advantage as we create a superior online experience connected to our scaled store footprint. Experience being the key word there. I mean, we've been talking about this on a macro level as we see a shift emerging right now from consumer spending on goods to services as the economy continues to reopen. How are you planning on that? And how do you continue to get people to come in and, and buy your jewelry if, uh, if that is now a competitor for some of those dollars? Well, we did guide conservatively for the back half, anticipating that the customer demand, customer demand for travel, for experiences, for going out to dinner, that kind of thing would increase. But we do also have some tailwinds. Engagements have been very strong for us. Mm. More weddings are happening now. That's always a good bellwether for more engagements to come. And people are celebrating those that they love more than ever before. I, I think one of the most endearing statistics from the quarter is that 53% of jewelry category customers bought a Valentine's Day gift for their spouse, and that was up 16 points versus year ago. So people are really celebrating those who are most important to them. That's fascinating, too, the idea of engagements as a bellwether. Um, diamond prices, we've seen them moving higher, starting to see reports out there about the possibility of looming shortages. What are you experiencing? Well, we have a very strong vendor network, um, strong strategic partners, and so we've been working with them to ensure that all of our banners, Kay, Zales, Jared, um, will definitely have the diamond supply that we need. Um, we also have a pretty long purchase cycle, and so we don't tend to see any kind of an immediate impact from inflation or shortages. Uh, and we also have found that both metals, like gold and diamonds, um, are elastic and that we're, we're typically able to price for any increases that we see. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.